Okay, so the fact that I'm just planting with the Golden Great Shield up and poking bosses to death with the Dragon King's Crag Blade makes this build so incredible and makes the game so easy. And because we are using the Dragon King's Crag Blade, we can also spam Thundercloud form for some amazing damage and poise damage. We have supportive incantations cast from the Frenzy Flamed Seal, and we have really beefy talismans which we can switch up depending on the situation. Our armor is giving us 66 poise, helping us min-max our stats, and dare I say, it looks awesome! We have two variants of combat, sword and board, poking our way to victory, or spamming thundercloud form to destroy enemies. Honestly, this build feels so balanced and makes for a great PvE experience, and it requires very little skill. My fellow Tarnished, I give you the Dragon King. Okay, let's start with a more in-depth look at the gear and setup so we can wreck anything and everything. If you could leave me a like and subscribe, that would be great. Thanks. Right, so we're using the Dragon King's Crag Blade as our main weapon and the Golden Great Shield. We also have the Frenzy Flame Seal adding no additional equip load for our incantations. We have our usual attack buffing incantations, Golden Vow and Flame Grant Me Strength. Or, if you want to further boost your defense, we have Dragon Bolt Blessing. You can get the Dragon King's Crag Blade by trading the Remembrance of the Dragon Lord with Enya at the Round Table Hold. The Golden Great Shield drops from Lanedale Knights, which you can see wielding it. Check around Lanedale Royal Capital for them. The Frenzied Flame Seal is rewarded at the end of Hyetta's questline. I'll pop a link in the description. As for gear then, we have the Halig Tree Knight's Helm, boosting our faith by two points. We have the Malformed Dragon Chest Piece, which is giving us nice resistance buffs, it gives us 66 poise, and it's the perfect Elden Bling for the build. We have the Clean Rot Gauntlets for a bit of weight management and more Elden Bling, and we have the Malformed Dragon Greaves. The Halig Tree Knight Set can be looted from a corpse located near the Elf Fail Inner Wall Site of Grace. It is in the room at the top of the ladder adjacent to the Site of Grace. The full malformed dragon set can be obtained from the Draconic Tree Sentinel in Crumbling Faramazula before Malaketh. And the Clean Rock Gauntlets are dropped from the Clean Rock Knights at Inner Aeonia and Elfail Brace of the Halig Tree. As for our talismans then, we can chop and change them up depending on how we are playing, which we'll have a look at later in more depth. For now, I'll just list them. We have the Shard of Alexander, boosting the Thundercloud form skill. We have the Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman, greatly boosting defense. We have the Great Shield Talisman, boosting our guard ability. We have the Turtle Talisman, boosting our stamina recovery speed. We have the Urtree's Favor plus two, boosting our health, stamina, and equip load. And we have the Lightning Scorpion Charm, boosting our lightning damage. You can get the Shard of Alexander from Iron Fist Alexander when beating him at the end of his quest line in Crumbling Fire Missoula. The Urtree Favor plus two is found in the Ashen capital after Malaketh, take the lift from the Forbidden Lands to a closed off area and find this talisman to the south on a corpse on a tree root. The Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman is found in FAL Brace of the Halig Tree, found on a chest on an elevated platform inside the large building in the northeast, guarded by several pests. The Green Turtle Talisman is found in the Summoner Water Village in an underground area behind a Stone Sword Fog Gate. The Great Shield Talisman can be found in a carriage chest east of the Earth Tree Gazing Hill site of Grace here on the map and the Lightning Scorpion Charm can be found in the Wyndham Catacombs in a room sealed by an Imp statue. In the Flask of Wondrous Physic, we have the Lightning Shrouded Crack Tear, boosting our lightning attacks and stacking with the Lightning Scorpion Charm. And then in the second slot, you can look at changing things up depending on the loadout. For now, I will just list the Green Burst Crystal Tear for faster stamina recovery and the Stone Barb Crack Tear for breaking enemies' poise faster. The Lightning Shrouded Crack Tear is dropped by the Urtree Avatar in the northeast of Leonia of the Lakes, here on the map. The Green Burst Crystal Tear is dropped by the Urtree Avatar in Kaelid, east of the Smouldering Church. And the Stone Barb Crack Tear is dropped by the Putrid Avatar in Kaelid. Next up then, our incantations. So we have Golden Vow boosting our damage and defense, we have Flame Grant Me Strength boosting our damage further, and if you want more defense and a body hardness of level 2, then we have the Dragon Bolt Blessing. This will make us really tanky, with attacks less likely to interrupt us, and it looks really cool as well. Dragon Bolt Blessing can be found at the Stormcaller Church inside a chest that's against a wall here on the map. Golden Vow, which you can get in Mount Gelmer at the Corpse Den Shack. Flame Grant Me Strength, which you can get in Kaelid around the back of Fort Gale. Alrighty, let's move on to the stat spread. I started with the Vagabond class. We have Vigor at 56, Mind We Don't Touch, Endurance at 40, Strength at 34, Dexterity at 50, Intelligence We Don't Touch, 
Faith at 23, this will be boosted to 25 thanks to the Heligtree Knight Helm, and Arcane we don't touch. Right, now let's have a look at the combat and we'll start with our first of two strategies and loadouts. First up, Sword and Board. So, very simply, we are going to hold up our Golden Great Shield and then poke away with R1 using our Dragon King's Cragblade. For this tactic, I use the Great Shield Talisman, the Dragon Great Shield Talisman, the Urtree Favor plus two, and then I switch between the Green Turtle Talisman for faster stamina recovery or the Lightning Scorpion Charm. It all depends on what we are fighting. In the Physic, I like to use the Lightning Shrouded Crack tier and the Green Burst Crystal tier for more stamina recovery. Honestly guys, if you can manage your stamina well, you can basically tank anything in the game. I also tend to choose the Dragon Bolt Blessing over Flame Grant Me Strength for this one, as it's all about the tanking and defense. You hold the shield up and poke away. I mean, look at this against these bosses. So simple. Okay, our second approach is based on spamming Thundercloud form. So for this, I use the Shard of Alexander to boost its power, the Urtree's Favor plus two, the Lightning Scorpion Charm, and the Dragon Crest Great Shield for more survivability during the Thundercloud form animation. In the Flask, I again use the Lightning Shrouded Crack Tear, and I like to use the Stone Barb Crack Tear to help the final attack of Thundercloud form get us over 80 poise damage to stagger most bosses. And with this one, I prefer Flame Grant Me Strength over Dragon Bolt Blessing, as I just want to do as much damage as possible. I am just having so much fun with this build. I feel like I can chop and change it based on any situation, and I am just so happy to be using a shield. All hail the Dragon King. Big shout out to my Ash Knight Fess for the foundations of the build and helping me test and tweak it. If you want to become an Ash Knight, then check out the links in the description. Okay, let's have some fun toying with bosses, shall we? So there you have it guys, the Dragon King. Let me know what you think of this one, how would you tweak it, what build would you want to see next? All the best guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers!